guys, welcome to my channel. COVID-19 absence of legislative intervention may impact commercial insurance claim. For instance, leakage of ammonia from the reverie system in a packaging facility which resulted in the facility having to be evacuated was found to constitute a physical loss of damage because it rendered the facility unnecessary for a period of time. Similarly, with Mayor Marsen of Upsadar of the General Church of its future release was thought not to be enough to constitute a physical loss of damage. It was observed that an actual release of accepted fibers, which result confirmation of insurer properly such that its function is nearly eliminated or destroyed, or the structure is not endless or uninhabitable, as well as the existence of an imminent threat of a loss of quantity of upsetters types that would cause such loss of utility would constitute physical loss of damage. Likewise, it was found that an electrical grid was physically damaged because it was unable to perform its essential function of providing electricity. In yet another instance, the Supreme Court of Colorado found that spillage and accumulative of gasoline under the alarm of insurance property to such an extent as to render it inhibitable and like to continue use yes, there of dangerous quantities due to physical loss or damage. Interestingly, coverage was found to have been triggered despite the fact that the actual closure of the building was altered by the fire department, which was not covered by the policy. This mobile because the closure was altered because of an inspired peril. The above divergence of judicial opinion manifested itself because the Bomber High scored in each. GSW Steel Ltd. ICICI Lombard General Insurance Coat Ltd. In that case, heavy rains at the side of the plant caused flooding. Flood water mixed with slush and raw material mixture refers to a slurry internet the electrical or hydraulic motors of a particular machinery. Upper video and the arm operation of the plant were impaired. The majority award held that there was no physical damage to the upfront feeder because the sand only had to be cleaned after removal of soil. Whereas the monetary award held that the upfront feeder was physically damaged because it could not be operated until the soil was removed. The Bombay High Court observed that both the majority award and minority award were possible views on the interpretation of the word damage and it may even be that the view taken in the minority of what appears to be the bad of two as well as the one with which the court may in all probability have concerned. However, the court appears to interpret the majority award having related to the limited scope for intervention by court while hearing a challenge to an arbitrary award. Business making claims relating to COVID-19 will have to convince the appropriate forum. Arbitral Tribunal Court or Consumer Forum to take a liberal view of what constitutes physical loss or damage and apply the loss of use or function test in test of the loss of structural integrity test unless the wording of the insurance policies are different from the standard form policies that are available in public domain. Potential legal as like a regulatory infraction. Recognizing that there is a significant issue that commercial insurance claims, especially business interruption claims relating to COVID 19, may encounter several legislation in the United States have proposed such legislative intervention in order to make it easier for such claims to trigger coverage for infants. Massachusetts in considering a bill which proposes that every insurance policy insuring again to loss or damage the property that includes coverage for loss of use or occupancy with business interruption shall, notwithstanding any terms of exclusion contained therein, be construed to include coverage for business interruption directly or indirectly resulting from the COVID-19 pandemic. 
and a conservatory at night, a plan for the loss of use and occupancy and business interruption account of inter alia there being no physical damage to the insured property or there being an inflation of losses. Resulting from failures, the bill which applies only to policy issues to insurance with 150 of five fewer full time employees. Also, a number of insurers who provide coverage to an insurance on account of the position of the bill to apply to the government for relief and reimbursement out of found collected proportionally from a lesson insurer. Similar bills are also being considered by New Jersey, New York, Ohio, Pennsylvania, and South Carolina, as well as the House of Representatives, United States federal government. Given the significant issues discussed above, businesses in India are likely to face an uphill task in recovering the losses for commercial insurance claim in the absence of any legislative intervention by the parliament, including promulgation of an ordinance by the central government of regulatory intervention by the Insurance Regulatory and Development Authority of India or IRTAI. Also, the IRTAI has interformed promptly to provide much needed relief to policyholders by inter alia direct insurance to expeditiously handle COVID 19 related cases and claim our hospitalization covers. Relating extension for payment of renewal premium in respect of accepting policies with claims. It appears that business related insurance claims may be dealt with. If at all, much further clarity emerges on the extent of the merchant business in India may suffer. While legislative like intervention along the lines being considered as the United States one option. The sum court first legal challenge for insurer in case it is applied retrospectively on the ground that it seeks to rewrite the theme of excited insurance policies. Legislative like intervention and liberal interpretation of insurance policies could also affect the reinsurance costs of such policies that cover COVID 19 without damage or losses when existential event the premium of such policies that will be charged for insurance for policy order. Since the cost of appropriate commercial insurance that covered losses are seen from COVID-19 in the future is likely to be exorbitant and the possibility of a second wave of cases in the future cannot be ruled out. One option for legislative or regulatory implementation could be no make it mandatory for all loss profit policies and other all risk policies issued or renewed from now on necessarily cover business interruption losses due to the COVID-19 pandemic and related, related action by public authorities and impose a cap on the premium that can be charged to the same. IFGAI could also co formulative a standard business interruption policy which would include coverage for COVID-19 and similar events as well as related action by public authorities and prescribe a cap on the premium that can be charged for such standard policy. I'll repeat again. Since the cost of appropriate commercial insurance that cover up losses arising from COVID-19 in the future is likely to be exorbitant on the possibility of a second wave of cases in the future cannot be ruled out. One opinion for legislative or regulatory intervention could be to make it majority for all loss profit policies and other all risk policy issued renewed from now on to necessary couple business interruption losses due to the COVID-19 pandemic and the related action by public authorities and impose a cap on the premium that can be charged for the same. IRGA could also formulate a standard business interruption policy which would include coverage for COVID-19 and similar events as well as related action by public authorities and prescribe a cap on the premium that can be charged for such standardized policy. Okay, thank you for watching and have enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe, like and comment this video.
because subscribe is free and share this video to your friend to your family and to your someone thank you and goodbye